Jordan Tower with JT News and I, I only reported this yesterday on the live show, but Stitches was arrested yesterday um, and it's kind of like funny because it's like, dude, you can't just go park in the handicapped space and draw attention to yourself. Like maybe the police will fuck with you if you have shit like this new car. He had marijuana, guns in his car, you know, it's like. Like, if you're gonna have that stuff in your car, park legally, bro, because, like, you're attracting un unnecessary attention. I mean, you already have tattoos all over your face. So this guy's Stitches, if you're not familiar with him, uh, he got knocked out by a games manager, WAC 100, about a year ago or a year and a half ago. Uh, he had an ongoing, he was trolling the game. He was trolling a lot of people on the internet. He has uh, a big video out called uh, Brick in Your Face, which has uh, caught a lot of attention because, you know, he was talking about cocaine so much and having it in the video and everything, and he had guns in the video. Uh, you know, he has a slight, yeah, he has a fan base. Um, but anyways, okay, so first of all, this guy, I mean, look at his face. He's all tattooed up. He's going to Whole Foods, trying to eat healthy, okay? <laughs> He sparks in the handicapped spot. <laughs> and the cops stop him. They recognize him, I guess, from previous arrests, they said. And uh, they asked him if he had a gun, you know, stuff. He, he said he said no. And uh, they also asked for drugs, right? And then passed him a slightly burned joint and said, sorry, officer, according to the police report. But, you know, police reports might be, you know, a little exaggerated. But then uh, after searching the car, they found a Glock. And he, he told them they could search the car. Then they found, why, you should just admit to the gun at that point. If you told them to search the car, they're going to find it anyways. They found, uh, what did they find? A uh, Glock handgun in the seat and two magazines of ammunition. They found uh, 31 bullets. Uh, then they had, uh, I guess, a jar of weed. Like 0.4 grams, something, some, some amount, you know. Weed's not that big a deal. So, you know, they arrested him. Uh, oh, no, 39.2 grams of marijuana in one oxycodone pill. Okay, which he does not have a prescription, but that's the thing. A lot of people do this oxycodone to relax or whatever. If you're going to have that stuff, man, like, stash it. I'm like, come on, you don't just roll around with that stuff. If you're addicted to pills or something, stash the pills, man. You know, you could... <laughs> Anyways, uh, he apologized, uh, telling the police officers... Uh, I didn't. I thought you were asking if I had a gun on me, not in the car. Um, went to jail. Uh, I think he's out now. Uh, you know, but you know, it's like if you if you're gonna go around and rap about this kind of stuff, troll people and everything, you know, roll around smart. I mean, you know, this guy, uh, he's married. He has three children. I know he's trying to trying to get money out here and do it legally. But man, like, do it smart. Move a little smarter, man. <laughs> like, you know. All them drugs and stuff have people moving kind of sloppy sometimes. You know, I know it becomes a, you know, it becomes a regular day thing if you're doing all these kind of drugs all the time, right? But, you know, still think about it before you go out in public, you know? Uh, it's kind of a stupid arrest because you got caught. If you had parked legally, you would have been fine. <laughs> That's the funny thing. But uh, anyways, Stuart Tower reporting you as much as possible. And, uh, you know, that's it. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan Tower, Tower Films, Films. Jordan, Jordan Tower, Tower Films.